In this section, we will discuss derivatives. In this section, we will learn about difference quotients, define the derivative, and finally relate the concept of the derivative to tangent lines. Introduction to derivatives. Consider again the example where one point on the graph of f of x approaches another. Suppose that the first point has a fixed x-coordinate labeled x sub 0. The point on the graph is then x sub 0, f evaluated at x sub 0. Now suppose that the other point on the graph is h units away. That makes its coordinate x sub 0 plus h, and the corresponding point on the graph is x sub 0 plus h, f evaluated at x sub 0 plus h. We can now write down a formula for the slope of the line in terms of x sub 0 and h. Remember, slope equals the change in y over the change in x. We will replace the values of y2, y1, x2, and x1 with their corresponding ordered pairs from the graph. In the numerator, we replace y2 minus y1 with f of x sub 0 plus h minus f of x sub 0. And in the denominator, we replace x2 minus x1 with x sub 0 plus h minus x sub 0. Notice that in the denominator, x sub 0 minus x sub 0 actually equals 0, leaving just the h in the denominator. This expression that we have created is called the difference quotient. Now suppose that the point on the right gets closer to the point on the left. This is the same thing as saying that h is approaching 0. Since the secant line approaches the tangent line as the point on the right moves closer and closer to the point on the left, the slope of the secant line is approaching the slope of the tangent line as h approaches 0. We represent this using the limit notation. The slope is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x sub 0 plus h minus f of x sub 0 all divided by h. Therefore, the slope of the tangent line is given by the expression the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So here's what we've been waiting for, the definition of the derivative. The derivative of a function f of x is defined to be the slope of the tangent line, and it is given by the formula f prime x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. This notation f prime of x represents the derivative. Now there are several other common notations. The prime notation is the most common way to denote derivatives, but other notations you will see include the differential operator notation, capital D subscript X of F, and the Leibniz notation, dy divided by dx. We are now ready to do an example that involves us finding the derivative. Consider the function f of x equals x squared. In the previous slide, we learned that the derivative is given by f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. What this means is we're going to take the expression x plus h and we're going to substitute it in for x in the function f of x. We are actually evaluating f of x at x plus h. When we substitute that in the function x squared, we get x plus h quantity squared minus x squared divided by h. At this point, we have to remember from algebra the way to expand a binomial. x plus h quantity squared becomes x plus h times x plus h. And if we multiply that out, 
we get as an expression x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared all divided by h. We are taking the limit of this as h approaches 0. Well, notice we can simplify x squared minus x squared to 0, leaving us the limit as h approaches 0 of 2xh plus h squared divided by h. The thing about this expression is in the numerator, the h will factor out, leaving us h times the quantity 2x plus h all divided by h. Since we have written it as factors, we're now able to divide the h in the numerator with the h in the denominator. This leaves us the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h. We can use the rules of limits now, substitute 0 in place of the h, and simplify, and the result we get is 2x. The function f prime of x equals 2x gives the slope of the tangent line at any given point on the graph of f of x equals x squared. Let's say we wanted to know the derivative of the tangent line at the point negative 2, 4. We would evaluate f prime at negative 2, and that would give us an output of negative 4. So the slope of the red tangent line is negative 4. Let's say we wanted the derivative of the tangent line at the point 1, 1. We would take the value of x1, evaluate it in the equation f prime of x, and we would end up with 2. So the slope of the blue line is 2. Consider the function f of x equals the sine of x. The derivative is given by f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. We now take the quantity x plus h and we substitute it in the original function. This gives us the limit as h approaches 0 of the sine of x plus h minus the sine of x divided by h. At this point, we have to remember a trigonometric identity that tells us the sine of x plus h is equal to the sine of x cosine of h plus the cosine of x sine of h. We expand that function using that trig identity so that the sine of x plus h is replaced with what it equals to from the trig identity. We now use an idea in mathematics which says let's use the commutative property and switch the order so that the minus sine of x comes first and the plus cosine of x sine of h comes second. We then use the math idea that since this is one big fraction, we can simplify it into two separate fractions and then look to simplify it from here. Notice that in the first fraction, we are able to factor out a sine of x from the numerator. That leaves us with the limit as h approaches 0 of the cosine of h minus 1 divided by h. In the second fraction, we are able to factor out the cosine of x. And that leaves us with the limit as h approaches 0 of the sine of h divided by h. Both of these terms now contain a limit that we can simplify based on previous knowledge. The first limit, recall, simplifies to 0, and the second one equals 1. This makes our formula for the derivative f prime of x equals the sine of x times 0 plus the cosine of x times 1, which further simplifies to the cosine of x. So what we have just determined that the function sine of x has for its derivative the cosine of x. Notice how f prime of x is equal to 0 everywhere the tangent line to f of x is horizontal. So whenever we have a horizontal tangent line on the original function, that means at that point the value of the derivative is going to be 0. We are now ready to take a look at a third example, which is a common calculus problem of finding the equation of a tangent line. Consider the function f of x equals 2x squared plus 3. We wish to find the equation of the tangent line at the point 2, 11. 
Remember that in order to write the equation of a line, you need to have a point and you need to have a slope. The point is given. The slope of the tangent line at the point 211 is found by evaluating the derivative at 2. We say that f prime of 2. The derivative is f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. What this means we're going to do is we're going to have to replace f of x plus h with its value from the function and then we will replace f of x with its value. So we begin by substituting x plus h in for x in the original function. That's where the 2 times x plus h quantity squared plus 3 comes from. Then in place of f of x we're going to put what f of x equals from the function which is 2x squared plus 3. We now need to use those same algebra skills to expand the x plus h quantity squared. If we expand the x plus h quantity squared and then multiply it by 2, we're going to get 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared plus the additional 3 and then we subtract the second quantity and it becomes minus 2x squared minus 3. All of this is divided by h and we are taking the limit as h approaches 0. If we simplify this, the 2x squared minus 2x squared goes to 0, the 3 minus 3 goes to 0, and we are left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 4xh plus 2h squared divided by h. We again factor the numerator, moving the h out in front, which allows us to divide the h from the numerator and the denominator, which leaves us with the limit as h approaches 0 of 4x plus 2h. Replacing h with 0 at this point gives us an answer of 4x. This 4x is equal to the derivative of the original function. Since we now have the derivative of the original function, f prime of x is equal to 4x, we can use that derivative to evaluate the slope of the tangent line. Remember, in order to find the slope at any point on the curve, we take the x value and we put it into the derivative. So if we evaluate f prime at 2, we get 4 times 2, or 8. The equation of the line going through the point 211 is going to have a slope of 8. We now use the point slope form of a line and replace each of those values with their corresponding points. y minus 11 equals 8 times x minus 2. Applying the distributive property gives us y minus 11 equals 8x minus 16. Simplifying this equation further, gives us y equals 8x minus 5. We have just determined that the tangent line at the point 211 has the equation y equals 8x minus 5. There is an easier way. Right now we are learning how the derivative is derived. When it comes to finding the derivative there are often shortcut formulas that you can use and that you will learn later that will make this process faster.